Iowa is full of presidential hopefuls this weekend with the caucus just around the corner. Hillary Clinton will be taking the stage tonight in Davenport. And that's where we find News Channel 15's Brett Thomas, who is live from outside her rally. Brett? Heather, they're already lining up to get inside of that ballroom. In just a few hours, Hillary Clinton will be there, and so will her, her uh, husband, the former president of the United States, Bill Clinton. He'll be there, too. They're bringing out the big dogs to try to win all the votes they can here before Monday's caucus. All the candidates are doing that, and they're all across the state. Bernie Sanders, just a few blocks from us right now. Ted Cruz is just down the highway about 40 miles from here and within the gaggle of reporters that is covering him is a cub reporter who grew up in fort wayne since elementary school he's wanted to be a reporter five years ago he was writing for the homestead high school paper and now at just 23 years old he's covering senator ted cruz and barely has time to stop you're up here though in Iowa. Are you just basically driving all over the state following him wherever he may go? Yeah, Ted Cruz is completing what's called the full Grassley, which is visiting all 99 counties of Iowa. So at the end here, it's, it's a real push um, to, you know, check all those uh, counties off his list. And so I am following him in my car, driving everywhere. How long have you been on this campaign? Um, I've been following his campaign closely, I would say, since uh, early fall, maybe. So for the past, I'd say four or five months. You've been living in Iowa since then? Yeah, <laughs> not quite, but it's spending a lot of time here. I think in the fall, there was a string of maybe eight weeks where I was here seven of those eight weeks. What's it like uh, being on a political campaign like this? I mean, especially one where you're following one of the leaders on the Republican side here, and you're just a kid from Fort Wayne. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, it's a, it's a great experience. It's really fascinating to witness it up close. Obviously, Ted Cruz is one of the candidates who's taking Iowa very seriously and, and kind of campaigning here in a more uh, traditional way. So to see that up close is, is obviously, um, you know, an amazing experience. Yeah, and tell me about that. What is the experience like? I mean, what are you going to go home and tell your parents when you get there? <laughs> um, well, it, it, it's, it's quite the schedule, trying to keep up with him, um, trying to keep up with all the different events and all the different news that may occur at those events. Um, but uh, it's, it's a rewarding experience being able to see uh, the process up close, uh, being able to see a, a leading candidate up close, and, uh, you know, being able just to be there to document it. Anything else you want to add here? No, I'm good. Not a hi, mom, or anything no, like that? That's okay. <laughs> and then he was off. Today, he'll spend seven hours in his car driving for a byline on the campaign trail. You're looking live at the line now to get inside that building. It'll take a little while because all those people are going to have to go through metal detectors and they'll have to have all of their bags checked out. And it's a pretty good process. We did it last night to get into uh, Trump's event and it took us forever. We about froze to death doing that. Keep in mind, this is what it's like to be here in Iowa. This is Davenport. And tomorrow, the Donald Trump's going to be here. Then Sunday, Cruz and Rubio will be here. So within that span of time, you're going to have nearly every major candidate, including Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, in this one small town right on the banks of the Mississippi. We appreciate all your time. We'll uh, be covering this throughout the entire uh, weekend and on Monday. I'm Brett Thomas, live in Davenport, Iowa, News Channel 15.